You probably heard this term in childhood, the city of seven hills. We all know that the city of Rome, the capital of Italy, is called the city of seven hills. But have you ever wondered why it is called that? In today's video, we will talk about this ancient city. So let's begin the expedition. The city of Rome is historical and ancient, almost 6000 years old. At that time, two brothers named Romulus and Remus built this city. But later Romulus killed Remus and named the city after him. So why it is called Seven Hills? Because it was built upon seven hills. These are Esquiline, Palatine, Aventine, Capitoline, Quirinal, Viminal and Caelian. Let's take a look at every hill in a little bit of detail. Esquiline, the largest of the seven hills, was not well known until the Roman Emperor Nero built his first fancy house on it. Before Nero, the hill was mostly used as a place where poor people would throw away garbage and bury their dead. Rome's first emperor, Augustus, chose this hill because it was high and he thought it was a good spot to bury people for health reasons. He even turned part of it into a park called the Gardens of Mycenaeus, but it was just really a graveyard for prisoners. Interestingly, the Esquiline Hill also had the original Colosseum, the Temple of Claudius and the Baths of Trohan on it. Palatine The Palatine Hill is considered the main hill out of the seven hills in Rome. In ancient times, it is used to be connected to the Esquiline and Viminal Hills. Palatine Hill was the first hill where people started to live and it is only 51 meters tall and covers an area of around 25 acres. Because of its historical importance, much of the hill has not been fully explored. However, the parts have, that have been excavated showed remains of houses from the Iron Age and tombstones. This hill is the closest to the Tiber River and is home to famous structures like the temples of Apollo, the residences of the emperors like Augustus Caesar, Tiberius and Domitian. At the bottom of this hill, there is also the Lupercal Cave which was discovered in 2007. Aventine According to the story, when the brothers Romulus and Remus arrived at the Palatine Hill, Romulus claimed it as his own. Remus then went off to find another hill and discovered the Aventine Hill, where he decided to settle. Nowadays, the Aventine Hill is known as a hill where temples dedicated to gods from other countries like the Greek goddess Diana were built. It is also important because it had Rome's very first library called Asinius Polios Library. Capitoline The Capitoline Hill is the smallest among the seven hills of Rome and it is considered the heart of the city. It is only 46 meters tall. The city's oldest wall called the Servian Wall was built on Capitoline Hill. It was also the place where Romulus, the founder of Rome, established the government and later used it as a fortress. Interestingly, the name of the hill comes from a legendary human skull called Capat that was found buried there. It is said that Michelangelo designed the landscape of the hill and it is filled with artwork and buildings from the Renaissance period. Quirinal The Quirinal Hill is the northernmost and tallest among the seven hills, but it is not as well known as the others. It used to be the home of Rome's second emperor, Numa, and nowadays it is where the president of Italy lives in a palace called the Palace of Quirinal or the Palazzo del Quirinale. This palace is one of the biggest in the world and used to be the residence of the Pope. Viminal the Viminal Hill is a small and less important hill compared to the others. It is located between the Esquiline and Quirinal Hills. However, according to the legends, it was a place where ancient Roman emperors would go to bath and pray. There are remains of two famous baths called the Baths of Caracalla 
and the baths of Diocletian on this hill. Additionally, there are three notable churches located here. The three-level Balisica di San Clemente, the round Santo Stefano Rotondo, and the elevated Basilica dei Santi Quattro Coronati. Caelian The Caelian Hill is the southernmost among the seven hills of Rome and has a shape like a long tongue, stretching for about 2 kilometers and having a width of 400 to 500 meters. Unlike the Servian Wall, which covered the entire Capitoline Hill, it only reaches as far as the Caelian Hill. Because of its lower elevation, people have always preferred living on the Caelian Hill. As a result, it was densely populated until a fire occurred in 27 BC. After the fire, it became a restricted area reserved only for the royal family. So that's it guys for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. Be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. It is completely free to you but it values me a lot. Check out my other historical videos if you are interested. As always, keep growing, keep learning. Bye.